Do I have to get your response to the breaking news of the, uh, the CPI number just came out, 7.5% inflation, the highest we've seen since 1982, higher than even what economists expected. Why? Uh, it's all from uh, spending money we don't have. We borrowed $3 trillion last year. The Federal Reserve prints up new money to pass it out. So when we passed out $1,400 checks to everybody, that money wasn't there. We didn't have it to give people. We borrowed it. Federal Reserve printed it up to pay for it. But when you print new money, what happens is the money that exists has less value and prices are bid up. So we're going to get more of this. Unfortunately, the Democrats have borrowed another $3 trillion this year. So they've locked in inflation. Inflation lags behind the borrowing. And so I think they've locked in more inflation. This could get worse. And historically, the way it slowed down is not pleasant. Interest rates rise and you get a recession and so does unemployment rise and then eventually you have a correction. But it's not a pleasant thing. And we suffered from this in the 70s. We learned our lesson, but apparently the Democrats didn't. They're offering something for nothing. Here's a bunch of free stuff. But the way it is paid for is through inflation and it hits hard as the working class and also those on fixed income or pension. Senator Rand Paul joining us live here from Kentucky there. Senator, good to see you. Thank you for your time.